kindness and light to the people of St. Clair as Leela the Mouse. Explore a small village, make electrifying new friends, and do good deeds for those in need in this lush narrative adventure game. Move over, Pikachu. There's a new electrified rodent in town. This unique third-person game where you control a mouse has you solving puzzles and collecting energy and happiness to unlock new abilities. Fans of Stray might find something here. Sure, it's not a cat, but mice are cute too. The Spirit and the Mouse comes to Switch, Steam, and Epic on September 26th. The monorail transit system connects the cities of M and L. This spectacular feat of engineering allows thousands to commute between the cities each day and mingle with each other. Every day, a hundred new stories are born in the cars running on the track suspended above the bay. This is the story of those commuters. A game seemingly created for those that are fans of people watching, the juxtaposition of the clothes the people are wearing and the environments they inhabit is really intriguing to me. Modern fantasy, perhaps? Monorail Stories comes to Steam and Epic on September 26th. There's also a Steam demo available now. For two to eight players, The Matriarch is a deadly hide-and-seek party game where everyone is an imposter. It mixes social guessing with hide-and-seek mechanics. Emulate the bots to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Wait for the right opportunity to go underground and dig to find the path to the exit. Pray that the matriarch doesn't catch you when the night comes. This looks like a solid addition to the social deduction genre. If you're a fan of games like Among Us, this one changes up the formula a bit, but still seems like a great time with friends. The matriarch comes to Steam on September 26th. The space MMO entirely built and driven by players in a single persistent universe shared by everyone. 10,000 years after a neutron star collision destroyed Earth, you and countless others awake from cryosleep in an unknown galaxy. You are settlers in this distant land and your goal is to rebuild society in this brand new solar system. I actually had the opportunity to play this beta a couple years ago. It was very early, but I saw the bones of what this game promised to be. I haven't gone back to the game since then, but with it releasing on September 27th, we'll be able to find out if it lives up to its lofty expectations. Dual Universe comes to Steam on September 27th. There's also a Steam demo available now. Hop off the train and into your new life in the village of Hako. Take over the old workshop and get creative. Use crafted materials and design everything in town. With complete creative freedom, what type of town will you build? This cozy looking life simulator has you building and expanding your town, growing crops, and designing anything you can think of apparently. This is another game targeted toward fans of games like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley. This game is impossibly colorful, and it looks like it has a fun, in-depth character creator to really let yourself sink into the experience. Hako Life comes to PS4, Switch, Xbox One, and Steam on September 27th. Lloyd Bannings returns to his hometown to follow his late brother's footsteps and join the Cross Bell Police Department. He finds himself assigned to a ragtag new division called the Special Support Section, which performs odd jobs and helps people in need. But he and his new teammates slowly discover that their vibrant city hides a dark criminal underbelly, as well as a few terrible secrets. 
This is technically a remaster, but I'm including it because it's the first time the game will arrive in the US. The Legend of Heroes series has a very dedicated fan base, and I for one am pumped that they'll finally have a chance to play this game. The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero comes to PS4, Switch, Epic, and Steam on September 27th. The world is a vast, beautiful, and dangerous place, especially when you've been shrunk to the size of an ant. Explore, build, and survive together in this first-person, multiplayer survival adventure. I honestly forgot that this game was still in early access because we've had access to it forever. This is a first-person survival simulator that takes place in a world where you've been shrunk to the tiniest of proportions. It's basically the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids game. Grounded finally hits 1.0 on September 27th, and it can be found on the Xboxes and Steam. It'll also remain on Game Pass, where you could play it, like right now. Frank has been sitting in the basement looking at the red fridge for several days already. Not only is the fear of a terrible death keeping him in his place, but also the hope of getting his daughter back. All you have to do is sit in your chair and keep looking at the red fridge, or there will be consequences. The Fridge is Red is an anthology of different first-person horror stories where each explores a different gameplay idea. I love weird, quirky horror experiences, and this seems to fit that build perfectly. The B-movie production and the creepy visuals put this one on my radar for sure. The Fridge is Red comes to Steam on September 27th. Domekeeper is a unique roguelite mining game in which players battle increasingly powerful waves of shadowy monsters. During short breaks between the increasingly intense waves of attacks, players mine for resources in the depths beneath to upgrade their dome's defenses. It's so amazing when you see something you've never seen before. Roguelike games have been coming out left and right these days. And yeah, here's another, but this time it's a unique blend of genres that I think sounds perfect. The more I see of this game, the more excited by it I become. Domekeeper comes to Steam on September 27th. There's also a demo available now. Push the limits of your combat skills and master new abilities to progress through an unforgiving, non-linear 2D world. Face off against the relentless darkness that seeks to destroy you. In Moonscars, every death is a lesson learned, and as you overcome each challenge, new truths will be revealed. I could just stare at pixel art all day. I can't really say why I find it so appealing, but I just can't look away. It's no different with Moonscars. While the setting is one that feels a little overdone, these animations are outstanding. And despite my qualms with the setting, I still love an established, mysterious world. Moonscars comes to the PlayStations, Switch, the Xboxes, and Steam on September 27th. It will also launch on Game Pass on day one. The official game of The Greatest Show on Dirt features six different Dirt series, from the premier World of Outlaws, NAS Energy Sprint Cars, and Case Construction Equipment Late Models, to four Dirt Car classes, and more than 40 tracks including Eldora Speedway, Knoxville Raceway, and Volusia Speedway Park. 
Admittedly, I don't know much about those things I just read. The only thing I know about World of Outlaws Racing is that those cars start drifting and don't seem to ever stop, which is cool. World of Outlaws Dirt Racing is coming to the Playstations and the Xboxes on September 27th. the mountain is a dwarven city builder and a real-time strategy game. Mine your way into the mountain, discover gold and silver, construct buildings, recruit an army, build traps, and defeat the vile creatures that lurk in the dark caves of the mountain. Most importantly though, find the heart of the mountain before the orcs destroy your kingdom. Beneath the Mountain comes to Steam on September 27th and has a demo available now. Black Witchcraft is a high-resolution 2D action RPG based on the bizarre, shady, gothic horror works of Edgar Allan Poe, a master of English and American literature. Black Witchcraft has an aesthetic to it that I'm really digging, a lot of blacks and grays and whites with some very vibrant colors to coincide with the action. I'm reminded a bit of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, but I think that Black Witchcraft doesn't consider itself Metroidvania. It's not a bad thing, I'm just eager to see more. Black Witchcraft comes to Steam on September 27th. Deathverse is a full-scale survival action game in the same world as Let It Die, hundreds of years after the events of that game. The player will participate in the violent survival TV show Death Jamboree as a contestant. 16 participants must murder each other in order to survive on an uninhabited desert island that grows increasingly polluted by a curious element known as Splithium. I was one of the few people that played a lot of Let It Die when it first came out. It was an interesting game that didn't quite feel fully fleshed out. Hopefully this takes those concepts and expands the experience. Death Verse, Let It Die comes to the PlayStations on September 28th. Never Awake has a unique worldview with its high-quality hand-drawn graphics and beautiful animations. These enemies are not demons, they're vegetables and dentists, things the girl hates. In her dreams, they've been transformed into true monstrosities. The hand-drawn artwork in this game is unique and it really pops. That being said, I'm glad that I never dream the way Rem does. Some of that imagery is troubling. Never Awake comes to Steam on September 28th. There's also a demo available now. Discover, learn, and master the art of homebrewing in the ultimate celebration of craft beer. From perfecting authentic, chemistry-driven brewing techniques to bottling and labeling and entering competitions, become an ultimate brewmaster in the first ever realistic beer brewing game. It's no secret, I love beer. Specifically, I love IPAs. I'm always curious what makes beer beer, but not enough to want to brew my own. I do know some folks that have brewed their own, and I wonder if this would be up their alley. Time to make some calls. Brewmaster comes to Steam on September 29th. Railgrade is a management sim about using railways to transport resources and power industry on an off-world colony. 
construct multi-level train networks, manage supply chains, and help restore industrial production in the wake of economic disaster. Trains, trains, trains. Another week, another train game. This one, at least to me, is using a different approach than a full-blown simulator though. Your goal here is to manage a production process while investing in upgrading your railways. Then you sit back and you admire your handiwork. Railgrade comes to Switch and Epic on September 29th. Valkyrie Elysium is the latest title in the Valkyrie series that depicts the death of humankind and the existence of gods with a unique worldview based on Norse mythology. As the first action RPG of the series, Valkyrie Elysium retains the familiar special attacks and combo system while taking it to the next level with a new, three-dimensional, fast-paced battle system. I played the initial Valkyrie profile briefly. The 2D action side-scrolling perspective was never really my thing, but the migration now to full 3D environments makes this appeal to me much more. It might not be a day one for me, but I'd like to dive in eventually. Valkyrie Elysium comes to the PlayStations on September 29th. Little Witch Nobetta is a Taiwanese 3D action shooter. You as the player will be piloting Nobetta to discover the secret of her past while venturing deep into the castle. Accompanied by a little black cat, you are to find the way to the throne room to uncover Nobetta's secret past. I was surprised to see this was actually a third person action game when the trailer was set in motion. It looks like some of the combat is paced a bit slower and more deliberate, but this game has been in some version of early access since 2019. We'll see if it all comes together when Little Witch Nobetta comes to PS4, Switch, and Steam on September 29th. Experience next-gen Hypermotion 2 technology, women's club football, both men's and women's FIFA World Cup, crossplay features, and more as FIFA continues to go strong after 20 years. I've never been into soccer and therefore I've never really been interested in this series. There is definitely something impressive about the fact that FIFA is EA's most successful sports franchise though. My American is showing clearly as I understand that soccer or football is much more important in other parts of the world, so it surprises me even though it shouldn't. FIFA 23 comes to the PlayStations, Switch, the Xboxes, Epic, and Steam on September 30th. The Paw Patrol are out to win the Pup Cup, where no track is too big and no racer too small. Race around Adventure Bay, Jake's Snowboarding Resort, and the Jungle as the Paw Patrol Pups. This kart racer includes an easy control option for the little ones with auto acceleration to guide them around the track as well as a hard mode for experienced track stars. This looks like a perfectly fine kart racer, and with the Paw Patrol name on it, it would be highly requested by my son. Paw Patrol Grand Prix comes to the PlayStations, Switch, the Xboxes, and Steam on September 30th. It'll also be coming to Game Pass on day one. Yucatan, Mexico, June 7th, 2063. A cell of the revolutionary group Los Desplazados, including their leader Gloria, has gone missing while on operations around the site of the Chicks Club Perpetual Energy Station. As Tanakh Khan, you are employed to find Gloria and her team using the latest in biotechnological enhancements. Well, there's definitely no mistaking where the inspiration for this game comes from. 
With the camera angle, the animations, and the environments, this could just as well be an HD remaster of Metal Gear Solid. If you have any affinity for that game and its gameplay, you should probably keep an eye out for Undetected when it comes to Epic and Steam on September 30th with console releases scheduled for later this year. There's also a Steam demo available now. Witchy Life Story is a humorous witch life narrative sim where you tend your garden, craft spells, maybe befriend the local villagers, and maybe help sort out their lives, and maybe yours too. This game has an art style that I feel only works for a game like this. The hand-drawn art is charming in a way that adds personality to the characters and also makes the world maintain a real fantasy vibe. The narrative aspects won't do much for me personally, but aesthetically, I can dig it. Witchy Life Story comes to Steam on September 30th and has a demo available now. Our story begins in the land of Engard, where our beloved hero, Arrowheart, sets out on a journey to stop his brother's diabolical plan to unleash an ancient evil that has been sealed in the shadows for generations, and to trigger a war using the power of the Druid Stone. This game is unabashedly a Zelda Link to the Past clone, and I, for one, am all for it. The pixel art looks great, the situations and environments look varied, and it looks like a game that should be played by anyone who enjoys a Link to the Past. Arrowheart comes to the PlayStations, Switch, the Xboxes, and Steam on September 30th. That's another big week. Tons of stuff I'm interested in and hopefully a couple new games landed on your radar as well. If they did, you can reward me by hitting the like button and subscribing to catch all my future videos. Also, go follow Future Dubs on Twitter. This list of games is only for brand new releases. There's somehow over 20 additional games coming this week in the form of re-releases and remasters. Gadzooks. We're done here though. So I will see you all next week.